Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Steve Feaster with Fit Studio. Today is day four. It's going to be mostly lower body, lower extremity. Now at day four, you're already thinking about quitting. I know it's been a tough road to hoe over the last few days, but finish this thing. You already started it. Go ahead and see it all the way through. First thing we have is the warm up. 25 butt kicks, 25 jacks. We're gonna repeat that two times. 25 air squats, 25 two-step Heismans. We're gonna do that two times. Then we're gonna do two minutes of jump rope. Should take us about maybe eight to 10 minutes to finish the warm up. And then, uh, then we'll get started on lower extremity. All right, it's gonna be a good day today. Here we go, everybody. Timer started, 25 butt kicks. One, two. With butt kicks, you wanna bring your heels all the way up, all the way up to your bottom. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Starting off kind of medium. You don't have to go crazy. Not yet, anyway. Everything's lower body focused today. 23, 24, 25 jacks. Here we go. 25 jacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. After we're done, we gotta go back to butt kicks one more time. Butt kicks, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Just trying to get loose, guys. Hopefully your heart rate's coming up a little bit. The same one we did yesterday. We should be improving a little bit. All right. Second set are air squats and two step heismans. We talked about form yesterday. Make sure your knees and toes are in the same direction. Trying to get good flexibility here. Stay on your heels. Get all the way down and all the way up. We could go a little faster, but this is a good pace for our warm-up. We're gonna burn those legs out today. It's gonna be crazy good. 20, 21, 22, 3. All right, let's get some blood back in those legs. One, two, three, four. This is considered a plyo, this little hop. Six. Not to say it's not burning. I'm going to call that 20. One, 22, 23, 24, 25. One, two, three, four. Yeah, now we're working out. This is what separates boot camp from those other workouts, guys. It's relentless. It forces your body to adapt. workout that anybody can do. The interesting thing about this workout, it's moderate. The intensity is only created by the time. You can slow down and make this a lot less intense. But since we're fighting the clock, that's where the intensity is bred. I think two more. Two minutes of jump rope, guys, and we're gonna call that good. Here we go. Slower, faster, we're still just loosening up. 
If you're doing this with me at my speed, we'll finish at 6.13. Six minutes, 13 seconds. It's a pretty decent warm up. I know, to listen to me, because I went back and looked at yesterday's, you know, because I'm vain like that, and see what the video looked like. My breath sounded like something between a Lamaze class and a COPD convention. Anyway, I was wheezing the whole time. All right, tell me when I got one more minute. Let me know, okay? Stay with me, guys. Keep training. And we'll move on to the first one. The first workout today is a dead leg workout. It's going to be three rounds. We'll do some jailhouse squats, which I like air squats. Some plyometrics called Mary Catherine's. A new one called X squat. 180 degree jump or a crisscross. And some bridges. And if that wasn't enough, a wall set for 60 seconds. Three rounds. How are we looking on time? Close. That should be around it. That's it? Yeah. All right, guys. We could always make you go longer and just lie. <laughs> good, good. Right at 613. Now, even though it doesn't matter much, I still want us keeping track on how long it's taken us to do these things. 6.13. All right, let me show you a few quick stretches. We're doing, we're doing lower body today. Good quad stretch. Heel to the bottom, but your leg can't be forward. I need to get it back, heel here and up. Don't lean forward. Come up nice and tall. I'm trying to stretch my quad. Other quad. Now listen, while we're here, why not challenge our balance a little bit? Our proprioception, where our body is in space. I'm getting feedback from my foot. Bring this leg in and back. Challenge your balance. Make you a better athlete, makes you more fit, and it prevents injuries. All right, find you something to push against. A sibling, an in-law, stretching that back calf. Now look. My leg is straight, I'm stretching my gastroc. I bring it in and I sit back. Now it's my soleus, it's down here. Other side, gastroc, leg is straight, heel on the ground. Both feet pointed straight ahead. If I was Chuck Norris, I'd be pushing this entire building south. <laughs> Sorry, Chuck. All right, soleus stretch. Hamstring stretch, keep one leg forward. Watch, I don't want to hunch my back. I take my sit bones back, I come down. I'm stretching my hamstring. Now for a little bit of low back and hamstring. Now we can come all the way down and roll up. Other side, here we go. Down for a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Incidentally, when we go down for a hamstring, sometimes my hips open up. I want to close them down. You can do that by reaching across. By reaching across, I've turned my hips in, and I'm stretching my hamstring here. Yeah. Last stretch. I want to turn my, I'm up on this back toe. I turn my pelvis under, suck my tummy in. I sink down and back, stretching my hip flexor. Whew. Hopefully you guys are already glistening just a little bit. Other side, up on the toe, buttocks under. Sink down, lean back for a hip flexor stretch. All right, guys, get some water. Come on back, and we're getting ready to go through dead legs.